I know, I know, I know. Okay, but I'm very happy. <laughs> Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is C. Michelle and I am a pro makeup artist and beauty content creator. And today we are going to be talking about how I have absolutely no chill, how I went crazy in October. Like just really, why? I, I bought 10 palettes. Okay, just, just stay tuned. I had kind of stopped buying makeup for a while, like probably about eight or nine months. These indie brands got me and I went down this rabbit hole and I just bought a whole bunch of stuff. Some things I got on sale, some things I didn't, some things I bought full price, some palettes I have FOMO, like it's a lot. So let me show you. Let me show you. Actually, it might be 11. I know, I know, I know. Okay, but I'm very happy. <laughs> Let's take right into it. I am not going in any kind of order. I'm literally just showing you the palettes that I bought in October. And, you know, I'm not going to limit myself. If I see something else this month or whatever, if that, a color story that speaks to me, I will purchase it, period, and whatever. So, which one do I? I'll start at the top. Recently, I've been going to Marshalls of all places because I'm a TJ Maxx girl. They're all the same company, but whatever. Been going to Marshalls and absolutely loving my shopping experience there. Went to the beauty section as I always do. And then I found some eyeshadow palettes. And when I shop eyeshadow palettes in department stores like that, I make sure that I can tell they have not been swatched at all, that they look like they're in good shape, you know, and things like that for sanitation purposes. So this is by BH Cosmetics and it's called Low Key Love You. Again, I got it at Marshall's and this was on sale for $3. This is the palette right here. Y'all look at this color story. This is absolutely gorgeous. So I just picked it off off the strength that it was $3. I hadn't had a BH Cosmetics palette in years. So I said, you know what? I'm just gonna go ahead and pick this up and play around with it and see if it's, a brand that I want to pick up again. So far, so good. I haven't tried these on my eyes yet, but I will. And again, if you want to see swatches of it full out, then you can check out my shorts because I have the swatches of this in particular palette, pretty much all of these palettes on there, but I'll just do a couple. I'll do Bay here, Catching Feelings, and Crushy. So here's Bay. Catching feelings and cushy. Or crush. Did I say cushy? Anyway, but here are the swatches. And again, these are like being half done right now. But beautiful palette, beautiful pigmentation and color story. But check out that swatch because you'll see them much better. Okay, on to the next one. Oh, Another palette that I got at Marshall's for $3 here is the Do Not Disturb palette by BH Cosmetics as well. And look at this color story, y'all. Oh, all right. I'm not even gonna edit that out, child. But look at how gorgeous this color story is. The blues and the purples just really stuck out to me. So let's swatch a couple here. Let's do... Peace out, oh my gosh, buttery to the touch. Peace out, silent mode. And let's do me time. Because as a mom, we all need me time or just as a human, okay? So here we have whatever the purple was called and whatever the blue was called and then whatever the shimmery one was called. Look at that. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Yes, I was just super excited to see those palettes in Marshalls. And y'all, I have found some really awesome stuff in Marshalls. Like even like this Zoeva brush. Look at this. This is perfect for highlight or just a blush. I found this Zoeva brush. I've been finding just a whole bunch of good things in Marshalls. And another palette I got 
is this one right here by Cara Beauty or Cara Beauty. It's called Night Thinker Daydreamer. The sheet's going to fall out probably, but no, maybe not. But look at this. This palette was $5. I just picked it up off the strength of how cute the packaging is, how cute the color story is. Now, again, I think this has pressed pigments in here, pressed glitters and things like that. So, you know, it's fine. I wanted to just play around with it. So let's try a couple colors here. We're just going to swatch a couple on each side. One, two, and let's do, since we did a lilac, let's do this. That one felt really buttery to the touch. Here they are. Let me put my fingers in it just a little bit more. Make sure it's nice and rubbed in there. But isn't that color story just so pretty? Absolutely love it. Ooh. Hold on, pigmentation. Okay. Kira Beauty. I have never tried this brand before. So if you guys know anything about this brand, let me find out, Kira. Or Kara. Look, okay. Gorgeous. I was surprised at how easily they swatched also, just because I just wasn't expecting it. I, I just wasn't. But I want to do one more color. I'm going to do this pretty pink. I'm not going to mess around with those glitters, though. But let's try one more. Y'all, I have so much more to show y'all. I got to keep some arm space. That's pretty, too. Very subtle, pretty pink. All right, let's move on. We have a lot to see here, a lot to see. All right, so another palette that I got, and this color story really stuck out to me because I love oranges. I love rust colors all of that. And of course, the fall, it got me. Fall is my absolute favorite season. I'm a pumpkin spice girl. Look, okay. This is what we're doing here. It's the NBA Cosmetics Pumpkin Kisses and Autumn Wishes palette. I am a first time buyer from this brand as well. So I said, you know what? I'm just going to try it. And I'm so happy that I did because this palette really surprised me with how great it blends out, how you can layer the shadows on top of each other beautifully and it doesn't dust away super impressed with this palette as well it has i believe two duo chromes or like one might be a multi-chrome um and for the price this was 30 dollars 40 dollars all the palettes kind of range within that same range except the one that we'll get to as well but love this palette let me do the two uh, multi-chromes or duochromes. I can't remember whichever one it is, but I have a whole video about that. Um, all the things that I'm mentioning, I will put in the cards. And then also, you know, you could check out the playlist that I have of palettes because I love eyeshadow palettes. This one of eyeshadow, when I do eyeshadow on my clients, it's probably my favorite step. Okay, so here is the one color here. Look at that pigmentation. And then here. Those are just the two shimmers. And I did foliage and crisp. Foliage and crisp. This is foliage and this is crisp. Gorgeous. Gorgeous palette. Very happy with my package. Um, well, very happy with my purchase am i the only one that keeps like the clear casing and keep the um sleeve that it comes in i don't know i just like it it's the whole vibe all right i'm going to clean my arm off because i feel like we're going to be doing a lot of swatches here and again most of these palettes except the cara beauty one should have dedicated short swatches for it Next on the list is a palette we love to hate. And I only say that because of the shipping delays. I'm always happy when I get it because it doesn't disappoint me with the quality. It's the Batty Bean Time Shroud palette called Hello Bean. A color, just look at this packaging. Just look at it. Like it's, every time they come out with a palette, I'm probably going to order it because the quality is amazing. I already expect a nine month delay but when i get it i'm like oh. all right they woo me over with how good the quality is i mean one swipe pigmentation um i have the swatches video out on shorts as well 
I mean, it's just good. It's just good. And it has a dual chrome in here. I don't know if you guys can see this shade right here called Black Flame is a dual chrome or a multi chrome, whatever. I mean, even touching it right now, just like how buttery to the touch. Like, look at that. I got a little too much there. But look at that. Look at that mustard yellow. Like, just, just look at that. And then um, let me take this orange because oranges are my fave. Let me go above this one. You know, come on. Like, it, it, it's good. It's good. I wish the shipping issue would be fixed, but the palette's good. And I will be doing a tutorial using this palette as well. I mean, it came after the season as expected, but I'm still going to do this tutorial. But look at it. Love it. Love it. Like, look at that yellow. I'm just, I'm just stuck on that yellow. Another palette that was totally new to me, a brand that was totally new to me. I kept seeing reviews on it. So I said, you know what? I'm going to give it a try. And that is the Sugar Drizzle Trick Roar Treat Palette. This little palette, this little six pan palette is adorable. And I think this one had three multi-chromes or three dual chromes in here. I did a swatch video for this as well. And yet again, I was surprised at how well it swatched. Take a little bit from all three here. Here is the palette and here's how they look on my finger. This red one right here is definitely a multi-chrome. And that is called Reptar Candy. I also swatched Roar, which is the matte green. It's much darker or it looks, no, that's pretty true too. That's pretty true. And then the Happy Haunting, which is the brown. Yeah, like when, this is a little bit more of a forest green. Let's see if that will help or creating a shadow of some kind will help. Now, so anyway, you'll see a swatched on my hand here. So we have the green, the dual chrome, and this is why I don't do swatches live because I can't see what I'm doing and I don't want to look there. I want to be able to look here and make sure you can see it, but that's it. Um, beautiful palette. Had a lot of fun playing around with it. And again, it was my first time I'm buying something from Sugar Drizzle. So that was nice to play around with the brand and see about it. Again, this isn't a ranking video. If you guys want a ranking video, just let me know. And I'll be happy to actually rank all the palettes that I bought. And I'll probably rank them from the swatches. And then the ones that I did try, I would rank the ones that I actually did try because I have my favorites, absolutely. Okay, so another thing that I purchased by a brand for the first time um, are these $10 multi-chromes by Black Moxie Cosmetics. I was super excited to try these. And yeah, so I have a whole video about these um, multi-chromes out. And I, let's see here, which color is this? This is called Lucky Lucky, I'll swatch that one. And then which one was my favorite? Okay, one didn't have, child watch the video okay i'll do lucky lucky and then i'll do purple praising lucky lucky purple praising all right so beautiful so on camera it's definitely showing more green but this is teal in person teal that shifts green and then this is like an orange gold rust color but it's showing up purple wow that is like the magic of a multi-chrome because it is not showing at all the same way in person okay now it looks purple back here for me but and then this one looks green but like when depending on where i have my arm and hold it 
yeah so make sure you guys watch that video so you can see the shifts and i did swatches for it as well in my shorts you can check that out as well another palette that got me for its packaging the theme the color story is this palette by nomad cosmetics called hudson valley this palette to me has two color stories in one my eye kind of looks this way as the warm side this side as the cool side but then it can all just like blend together and work but this is the hudson valley palette right here i do have a three looks sort of video out <laughs> talking about it and i'm just going to take a few of the colors here and just swatch them and then let's try that one and so you have to check out that video specifically for my thoughts but that is just an idea of what it looks like it's an idea what all of these look like okay down to the second to last but not the least this serenity palette i had major fomo on potentially missing out on love the packaging love it kind of matches the eye look i did today oh, i just realized okay here we go here's the packaging i love the color and i love the gold writing on there this is a 20 palette pan this is a 20 pan palette and here it is the serenity palette absolutely love it love it love it i've done two looks with this so far the look you see right now you can watch that video that it will be i carded as well and in the eyeshadow palette playlist and then i did the i did a short with this look and then uh yeah the juvia's place uh, nubian earth uh, you could really see it in that video as well awesome palette um i have a shorts uh, swatches video that i did with this as well and just picking up a couple of colors here picking up a couple colors shaking off any potential excess there's the green there's the blue and that's like this periwinkle blue purple beautifulness color that i have on right now that color that i swatched last is on my lid right here but yeah so happy that i bought that palette um FOMO really kicked in for that one, and I'm so glad it did. I think that was just my makeup fairy intuition because <laughs> that one is good. Girl, go thank me later. And the last palette, I definitely had FOMO on last year because I didn't pick it up, and I wish I did because I love this one so much. And this is by Mother Herself, Pat McGrath. I love the Celestial Nirvana palette. Contrary to popular belief. Oh, here it is. This is the right side, child. This palette is amazing. And I will have a dedicated video to it. But I mean, this palette gave me what it needed to give. I was extremely happy with it. Oh, I kind of blended with my shower curtain. <laughs> this shirt. <laughs> anyway. So we're just going to do some swatches of the these three right here. And look at this color story. Like, I am happy with it. I know some folks wanted multi-chromes, duochromes, trio chromes, chromes. Listen, for the average person that's buying that palette, they're not going to want those things anyway. They probably don't even know to want those things yet. So, I mean, that's a great palette. For anyone who wants to be introduced to Pat McGrath, to anyone that wants to be um, a makeup artist or playing around with makeup, or that's great for, I mean, yes, it is expensive, but to me, it's worth it. Here are the shades here that I'm going to swatch. The blue, the periwinkle looking color too, and the red. Whoa, lots of makeup. As a bonus, I also bought this um, last month as well at Marshall's. And I saw this BH times Iggy totally snatched face palette for, I think it was 
between a dollar or two dollars, maybe max three. And I said, let me just get it because I liked the different shades in there. And I said, let me just try it. I'm so glad I did. If I could find it, I might try to go pick up another one because look, I used it to set my under eyes with. And it snatched. It is what it is. This totally plastic palette is amazing. It was a worthwhile splurge. And I love it. I mean, the packaging is a little, but hey, it is what it is because the actual product gives what I need it to give. Okay, so that is the end of this haul. 10 palette. I bought a whole too much, a whole bunch of stuff video. And I hope that you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys saw a potential palette that you might want to get before it goes away or is discontinued or if it's just seasonal. Let me know in the comments if you have any of these palettes and if you do, your thoughts on them because I love the dialogue and chatting with you guys about makeup and your thoughts and, you know, just having a full-fledged conversation in the comments, child. But I really hope you guys decide to stick around and hit that subscribe button and watch some more videos after this because I have a ton of playlists on my page and there's a lot to see and there's a lot more to come. Until next time, make sure you subscribe, boo. Vessels. See, look at these. You know you want to see some more.